Hello there, welcome to another one of my fishing videos. I have lost the original intro unfortunately. I've just realised that now that I've come to edit the footage that I made the other day. Uh, and I don't know where it's gone. I just mustn't, I mustn't have had it recording whilst I was walking along and talking to the camera. But basically I'm going down to my local river on a private stretch, see what I can catch. It's not very warm, probably around about 12 degrees centigrade which is pretty cold. It is approximately half seven, eight o'clock at night. So it won't be long until it's dark and I'm gonna see what I can catch. Again, on the dry fly. This is the first fly I'll be using. It's an upwinged olive pattern, dry. And I'm going to be flattening this little barb down here to make it barbless. This is what it's all about. Beautiful little wild fish. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Don't tell your mates. Next cast, get another one. Get in there. That's the beauty of the barbless hooks. That fella took it right in the back of his tongue. Got it out very easily with the barbless. Look at the belly on that little fella. Beautiful red spots as well. Thank you very much. On to the next one. I think we'll move up a little bit. That's a better fish. Look at that fella. Maybe he's 11, 12 inches long. Very hard fighter as well. Beautiful. A little bit wise that one. This place gets fish quite a lot and it's coming up and slapping at it and hitting it with its tail. Doesn't want to know. Gonna head further back down the river. As the night's wearing on a lot of those midges that are in the pure midgy storms above the water are starting to die off and drop in the water. So at this point I'm changing fly pattern. I'm changing from an olive imitation to more of a midgy imitation. That's the second fly, and as far as I know, that one is an Adams. It's a little bit like a grey duster. It's got wings on though. It's also got a little tail. I think that one is about size 16, so it's quite a small fly. And that one's meant to represent little midges, mosquitoes, that sort of thing. That 
was a very difficult beggar to catch. It was actually behind the rock. So I just let it drift right down. First cast, boom. I suppose in that respect it wasn't very difficult to catch. Oh, balls, it's got off as well. That's what you get for talking to the camera. It was difficult to cast to, but it wasn't actually difficult to catch, if that makes sense. It's going to be bloody difficult to catch now that it's got off. <laughs> I'll have to come back for that one, I think. Get in, there's another one. It's only about half the size of the one that I lost. And I've dropped it, so you're not going to get to see that one. <laughs> God, I'm not having much luck now, am I? Now that thing's a bat, flying around in the daytime. Very difficult to film it, because you never know where it's going to go next. And it's gone. Oh no, he's back again. There he is. Oops, just skimmed the water. I'm not going to climb out, but it's a little brownie, about six inches. I'll bring this little fella in and let you have a look at this one. Yeah, seems to be a nice dark little fish. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful little red spots on him as well. Lovely little brown trout. Back in to grow a lot, lot bigger. didn't take long. First cast. <laughs> Get in there. Fish never knew I was there. I crept in close to the bank side. I'm actually sitting down fishing below the skyline. Perfect. That's the only way to do it. Especially with dry fly because the fish is actually coming at the top. It needs to be really comfortable with its surroundings to rise to the dry fly. There you go, another one. It's got roundy fins this one, so I think this one's a stocky. But it's been in a while, as you can tell by its belly. Beautiful fish, it's going back. Well, that's the best one of the night, and I think I'll make that one the last one of this video. It's about time to go home now, have some supper, catch up on the emails that have come in since I've been fishing and then have a good night's sleep. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, I shall catch you next time. If you want more fishing videos, check out the related playlist on my channel. See you next time. Oh, get in there. I was just putting my gear away, there was one rose in front of me, dropped the fly on it, and it took, and it's something a little bit special. Now that is a grayling. 
hand, my hands are soaking wet with the cold water to handle this fella. I don't like being handled and it's going back straight away. They're very, very rare on this private stretch of river. Some of the club stretchers apparently have them because I was talking to a couple of lads who were in the club this morning or this afternoon, sometime today anyway, and they were saying they'd had a few up towards the top end of the river. Uh, when they get mature, the dorsal fin, that's the one on halfway down the back, gets huge, it's almost like a sail. And if you catch a grayling in a strong current, they just lock that dorsal fin up and sit in the current. You've got to really rive on to get them out, they're a beautiful fish. I would say one of the best sources, if you want to see some good grayling getting caught, look up fishing in Finland, Norway, Sweden, grayling fishing. G-R-A-Y-L-I-N-G. They were once very common in this stretch, but there was a pollution incident about, well, actually there's been a few. There was one about 25 years ago, there was another one about 15, and then maybe there's another one about six or seven, and they wipe out the grayling. That one might have actually come from further up the river, may have moved up from down the river, I don't know. I'm over the moon for catching that. That is now the fish of the night. Not that reasonably big trout, that little grayling, because that shows signs that the river is coming back to life. Those grayling are moving back into this stretch. And that's excellent, because they form little shoals towards the tail end of a pool. And if you're at the bottom of the pool, you can just get them out one after another. Bang, 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 bang. You can sometimes get half a dozen out before they realise you're there. Excellent. This is the end. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. I landed on my rod and luckily it didn't snap. <laughs> Damn it. I think that's Mother Nature's way of telling me she's had enough of me messing around with her fish. I'll get out of here. <laughs>